Hello! Today we're going to look at helping Google Sites administrators manage their sites using sites permissions. Alright, let's go into the Share button, the big blue button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So we're going to be tackling page level permissions. Now you're probably already familiar with normal permissions, where you add an email here and make someone an editor, able to comment or to view, but page level permissions are a little more complex and allow you to be a little more accurate and provides more micromanagement ability in terms of who has access to which pages. So let's enable that here by clicking on the Enable Page Level Permissions button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Here you'll get a little warning and there will also be a link to a getting started guide on page level permissions. I recommend reading that if you have the time, but for now we're just going to turn it on. Now you'll notice that we have a sidebar with every page in our Google site. So from here we can lock down a page or a branch of pages simply by clicking on this change button up here, selecting use custom permissions, and then there are two options here where you can add new users to this page, or you can choose do not add new users to this page to isolate it. So let's imagine that you just want this managed by a certain manager. First you need to make sure that the person is invited at the site level. This is an important step because it won't let you do this unless you first add them at the top level. So I'm going to add the videos account and make it an editor. Now I can go to this page and I'm now given the option to designate that account as either an editor or a viewer. So I'll make the account an editor and then click save. I can even make this private so now only me and the videos account will be able to even access this page. So it's kind of locked down. You can make these separate pages for certain employees or groups, which is really where you get the true power of Google Sites as an intranet. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.